In previous video, we have seen how to execute the Selenium test in Python on local machine. Now, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can execute the same test, but in Azure DevOps Cloud. So before that, uh, I want to tell you one thing. You can use this command pip freeze and this symbol and then requirements.txt. So this command, what it does is that it creates the requirements.txt file and it, uh, this fi file contains all the dependencies, the packages uh, that are required to uh, run the tests. So make sure that you create this requirements.txt by running this command pip freeze requirements.txt and once this requirements.txt is there just uh, push it to the repository in azure devops uh, here you can see Here you can see the requirement.txt file is there and it contains all the packages that are required. So next thing that you need to do is uh, create a pipeline. Now I will show you the pipeline how I have set up this pipeline here. If you go to selenium python, you can uh, click on edit. Then trigger is master, I am going to run this test on macOS, so I have selected macOS and then here. I'm telling that I want to use Python 3. Point, so uh, Python 3, that is the version 3 of Python. Next thing that I'm telling it to do is install this Selenium PyTest and then execute these tests. So instead of uh, this giving separately pip install Selenium pip install pytest i can just simply say pip install because requirements.txt file contains all the dependencies required for the project so i will say install this packages from the requirements and then in the pytest execute the tests and finally i have got one task publish test results which will produce the xml report i'm just going to save this and run this and let us go here in pipeline you can see as soon as you make the change in the pipeline, the build will kicked off because uh, that file in the repository changes. So whenever something changes in master branch, automatically the build is triggered. Okay, so the test step is failed. Install Python. Let us see what the error is coming. We must give at least one requirement to install. So basically you need to execute this command actually there. So we didn't specify the requirements.txt and that's the error there. So let us edit our pipeline. And instead of pip install, I want to say pip install dash r requirement. So requirements.txt file is important because that is where we have stored all the dependencies. So just save it and this time around it should work. This build will be automatically kicked off. It fell again. It 
find the version that satisfies the requirement bonjour dash pi So anyways, uh, what we can do now is uh, I'll manually give those files that uh, dependencies that I need for the demo purpose. But uh, generally we should do it that way using requirements.txt file. That is the standard approach. Save it and then it will be kicked off. So this time around you can see the installation step is successful and the test execution is also successful and the test report is also generated so i'm just gonna click on tests and you can see here you have to select pass test because by default it will show only the uh, failing tests and here is the test that was passed so that is how we can execute the Python CLM testing. Azure DevOps. Thanks for watching this video.